everyone today I would like to show you how you can create your own ceiling molding ground molding alright so first I'm going to resize this room because I don't need all that space uh, 150 by 100 and then uh, well the height is sorry 96 six that's good all right so new element put another floor and then you want to resize it based on the dimension of your uh, total height of your crown so I'm gonna go to dimensions and um, usually they're about maybe five inches height uh, the thickness you want to as small as possible as a matter of fact I'll just go to 1 16th of an inch then click OK it's very tiny but uh, you should be able to see what I'm going to build so I'm gonna go to the shape editor you can zoom in and out to see what you're doing and I'll make a quick uh, shape for my uh, my ceiling all right I already have something in mind okay 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 on this you can just watch what I'm doing once you get to know uh, how to use the shape editor is very easy um, I'm just making the shape right now I want to cut that then uh, hmm. make a couple notches here one here then cut that oops Control Z, I want that out. Then all right. So that's the shape I'm making. Now I'm gonna close it and see what we have. Make a copy. Uh, unlock the debt so I can stretch. Just like that. You, see, you can see the profile so I'm gonna make 90 degrees but I'll flip it because it's going to the ceiling so highlight go to this function here and I want two steps and it's a corner 90 degrees and I want it flipped boom so that's easy that's my template, I can put it away. Let's flip that. One, two, and you see now it can go to, to the ceiling. All right, I'm gonna make, uh, I can delete that now. Make a copy, flip, and join it alright so now let's just group and I want this section here the little corner that we have this section to be locked completely because I don't want it to resize and then just all the way to the ceiling if I do center it, it will follow me so you see how nice it is now now here's a trick you don't need to go through all that again you can just make a copy of this I'm looking up so and then flip it so that means I just made that side then I can delete that because I need this section see and then uh, 
I can take this. No, I can take that. Make a copy. Flip it. Oh yeah. Came out nice. So now you gotta make sure you lock the right parts so that it's resizable. I know five is the magic number, so if I see it, I lock it. Very easy. Five. Then all the corners must must be locked. So if I resize, they remain the same. Okay. So. Oops. Let me zoom in. I don't want to select that. I want to select. Okay. Those four corners. Double click. All locked. Perfect. So that means. Um, we can now group it and call it uh, ceiling crown. There you go. Okay. So here we go. We can now stretch it. Doesn't matter what size of the room, it will not change. There you go. Uh, that's how you make your ceiling so now you can of course give your room that nice texture that you like alright if you have any questions pro100usa.com